little voice in the back of your head that's repeating it over and over. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nay. if you're new. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Before I start the video, just know that the sun and the clouds are just having a grand old time in the sky today. As you can tell right now, the lighting will be on and off in this video, so if I reach up and grab, my apologies in advance. Today's video is going to be all about your gut instincts. There's going to be four gut instincts to never ignore. Gut instincts are super, super powerful and I think the more in tune you are with yourself and the more self-aware you are the greater in touch you are with your gut instincts and your intuition hello son so a lot of people describe your gut instincts and your gut in general as the second brain we feel a lot through our gut it's really really powerful because it can help guide you in different directions in life so instinct is more something that's wired into our brain through years and years and years past just by being a human being it's a survival technique and it's more there to protect you for example fight or flight whereas in intuition stems more from fear and ego. So how would you know that your intuition is trying to tell you something? If you have butterflies in your stomach, if you just have that inkling and you just like have this feeling and you just kind of know if it makes you happy, if you're dreaming about it, if you can't seem to shift your focus off of it and it's just coming into your mind over and over. It's kind of like that little voice in the back of your head that's repeating it over and over. Another thing to decipher instinct versus intuition is if you're thinking about future implications. Another thing is that you can tap into your feelings with intuition whereas instinct because it's so quick you don't really have time to think about your feelings so on to the four gut instincts you should never ever ignore first gut instinct you should never ignore is if you feel like something's dangerous and you just don't feel comfortable and you kind of feel like something's off that's your subconscious and you should really listen to it it could wind up saving you and it's better to be safe than sorry so for example if you are out and drinking and your friend the designated driver takes a couple drinks and is like I'm fine I'll drive it's not a big problem and you just feel off and you're just like something is telling me not to get in the car with him even though he's only had one or two drinks um, another thing is like if you're walking down an alley and you see a person come up to you and you just feel off and you, there's just something telling you to turn around and go the other way so the second gut instinct you should always listen to is if you want to help someone or say something or stand up for somebody if you guys watched my video about the 12 universal laws you'll know that the first universal law divine oneness which states that we are all one we all impact each other so that's just a law of nature nature. We're all connected. We're all one. Everything we think, say, or do affects everything in the universe. There's a reason we have that understanding of what people are feeling. We have empathy. We have sympathy for a reason. So if your intuition is telling you to go help someone or say something or stand up for someone, then do it because I feel like that's just our nature is to understand each other and help each other out. If you were thrown on this earth just by your yourself you would not be able to survive you need people to help you it could be as simple as holding the door open for someone if someone's having trouble like opening a door and you're like let me go help them or helping an elderly lady walk across the street or buying a homeless person lunch the third gut instinct that you should never ignore is anything in your body that's feeling off it could be an illness it could be if you're exhausted and you want to like not take a shift for work or not exercise for the day because something is just telling you to rest, getting symptoms of an illness, go get it checked out. Your body was telling you something for a reason. I think the body is an amazing thing and it has the ability to tell your mind when something's not right. The last gut instinct to never ignore, you're just feeling good about something and it's something really big and drastic. For example, if you want to cut someone out of your life, if you want to move to a different city, if you want to quit your job like I did, for a job that's less structured and maybe not paying as well and there's more hurdles to overcome like starting your own business or something like that if it's telling you to do something and you just feel like it's the moment to do it then it generally is because you're just you're getting that feeling and you're getting kind of anxious and you're like 
I just need to do something. Sometimes you need to do that and it'll take you to opportunities um, to get you where you want in life that your other path might not have been leading you to. When it comes to drastic decisions like that, especially if other people are like kind of getting in your mind or other situations are getting in your mind, you're getting in your mind and you're like, I can't do this, this is scary. That's all stemming from your ego. All of these changes is in direct reflection of your happiness. You know what will make you happy in life. So if something is telling you to make a big change or leave something like a job or a person, then you need to do it because you know yourself better than anyone else and you know what's going to bring you happiness in the end. Also, you'll just regret not doing it. If you think about yourself in the long term and you're still in the same position that you were in right now before you're trying to make this drastic change, would you be happy? Most likely not. Those are the four gut instincts to always listen to. If you guys have any of these, definitely let me know. If this video came to you at a perfect timing, let me know. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and the sun wasn't that big of an issue. I know it's kind of dark right now. There you go. I just wanted to film this video because I came across an article about it and I just thought it was super interesting. So um, it kind of stems into self-awareness and kind of tuning into your subconscious. So I thought it would be a super fun video for you guys and I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Love you guys so much and I will see you guys all in tomorrow's video. Bye guys. Bye.